Boss, uh, come on, good evening. Uh, Genki Deska, uh, hope you're all well. Um, I am not, <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. I've uh, put my back out quite substantially yesterday, uh, putting, uh, well, doing, doing cater to be honest. I was trying to do um, some cater in the garden whilst the weather was good and um, uh, to try and get some videos that we can put on our YouTube channel for, for, for you guys to watch um, and hopefully use to train to. Um, being the uh, what's the word, perfectionist I am, annoying uh, person that I am, trying to get it right so that it came across correctly for you was difficult. Um, I think uh, it's um, fair to say that I overdid it. Uh, I overdid it. I was really enjoying, enjoying doing Kiyagi Gerry's on uh, Hien Yong Den, and that's when my back went pop. And uh, I felt it go, stopped straight away, and cursed myself and, uh, and everything else around me. So uh, good job you haven't seen that video. Um, so I'm going to have to take it really, really easy this evening. I did think about cancelling this week because, to be honest, my body's as I should. But I will uh, continue and um, do, do it much slower uh, than I was going to hopefully do this evening. So tonight's lesson is going to be based on uh, Kumite and two in particular types of Kumite, which I can do slowly, but I wanted to do really vigorously, if I'm honest, eventually with you um, and interactively. But um, tonight will be uh, more um, slower speeds, more technique based, uh, form, um, balance, timing, that sort of thing. Um, and then maybe Thursday, if I'm feeling a bit better, then we can maybe ramp up the speed a little bit in terms of um, people practicing this. So the two types of kumite we're doing are Sanbon kumite. Uh, so uh, if you remember counting, each ni san, uh, Sanbon is three step uh, kumite. So we need a space of about a meter and a half. Uh, you can shorten your stances to, to accommodate uh, your, your own personal dojo. And then we're gonna do my absolute favorite, which will be Kaishi Ippon kumite. And um, uh, my black belts will tell you this is uh, one of my favourite parts of karate and uh, something I've enjoyed doing for, for many, many years um, in different ways. And the good thing about both Sanbon Kumite and Kaishi Ippon Kumite is that they can both be done differently. And um, uh, we tend to teach one way in dojos, but black belts practice them in all different sorts of ways. And, and, and uh, you know, I tend to uh, sort of save that sort of stuff for beach training and things like that. So anyway, that's, that's enough of me talking and making excuses of how poorly I feel and how loud my back is. If you see me win, send me a love heart to cheer me up, because um, I don't feel good. Uh, but uh, we'll, we'll give it a go. So everything's going to be slow speed this evening. Also, I'm just going to quickly say hello to a few people, because uh, I think it's important to acknowledge those that are joining. So, uh, us, Christian and Zach, good evening, good evening. Uh, us Wayne, good evening. Oh, my wife is... <laughs> Bye, wifey. Hi, wifey. Uh, us Sensei Ken, Ashley, good evening. Us Tim, Connie and Neve, hope you're all well. Uh, good evening, good evening. Uh, us Joe, good evening. And um, Andy Sensei, good evening. Us Grace, hope you're well. Magdalena and the Hartley clan, us, good to see you. Us Harry. Hope you're okay, Harry. Harry, I've got a new Lego set and I'm gonna build it and I'll show you it in a week or two's time. Um, yes, actually, lockdown is definitely dangerous. If we're allowed to do karate all day, which um, I was basically doing, that yes, it's not a good thing, is it? Uh, good evening, Rob. Good evening, Andy Sensei. Uh, good evening, Kayla. Saw Kayla earlier on our, on our, on our walk from the distance. We had a little chat, told her how poorly I was feeling. Us, uh, Robot family, good evening. Um, you can probably hear some scratching in the background. My dog is going mad. Good evening, um, uh, us, Harry, Harry Matthews, good evening, well done. Us, us, Lucy and Ollie, good evening. Betsy and Michaela, oh, there's loads of you, that's awesome. Good, you're making me feel better already. I knew it was a good idea to come along. Okay, let's uh, do a bow, first of all. Wait, us. Okay, and just ever so slowly, ever so slowly, just wait, bring your arms forwards. Of course, I'm saying do it slowly, but what I mean is I'm doing it slowly, you can do it whatever speed you like to. I'm going to be very, very uh, easy on my body this evening. So nice and relaxed. Okay, take your left arm forwards. And then your right arm forwards. I'm not sure if I can do this, but we're going to have a go. So one arm forwards and one arm backwards. What's the holy sun? Are you going to join in? Or are you just going to watch me suffer? Okay, it's just nice and relaxed. Let your arms go out. It's 
So whilst we're doing the warm up, um, I've just been trying to do some videos for Kata. So I've so far done Hien Shodan, Hien Midan and Hien Sandan, uh, facing forwards towards camera and then reversed to see if we can help people. Okay, arms forwards. And um, then the idea of actually put those on our YouTube channel so you can at least look what the Hian Katas in particular look like. Um, my plan is to get up to Techie Shogun uh, within the next few days. If uh, a couple of my black belts can help me, uh, just film the rest of the Katas that I've not been able to do. I've done Hian Yondan facing forwards, but not so reverse, which is when my, uh, my back went out. And then up. So we'll see if we can get that done for you. I've already got a Techie done from uh, a couple of years ago, so I'm just going to put that on. And you have to look back, so give me a couple of days to sort that out. Okay, arms should be done. So just, yeah, I'm going to do this slowly, but just rotate the body, okay, and just let the uh, torso turn. That's enough of that. Okay, arms up, again, stretching over. This is good for my back, so I'm doing this for my benefit, not so much yours. Just going to turn the volume down on my other camera because uh, getting a lot of feedback. Okay, stretch again. And the other way. And back. And forwards is not going to go much further than that, I'm afraid. Because that's as far as I can currently go. <laughs> okay, uh, bring your right knee up. I don't know if anyone's watching you in your own dojo, but I, I've got a little shit suit that's literally two feet out of uh, out of the camera view, watching me do everything. Oh no, here she comes. Just as I'm on one leg, nice one, dog. Okay, then take your other foot. So you might have spectators in your own dojo, I don't know, uh, the rest of the family, etc. Um, mine just generally sit and watch me and laugh, uh, so there we go. Okay, we're going to do standing bow this evening, Oops, uh, because I'm not going to have to do a kneeling bow, um, not when my back is the way it is. Okay, so uh, we'll start with Sanbon Kumite, which I think for um, learning purposes is the easier of the, the two Kumites that we're going to do this evening. So Sanbon Kumite, Ichni San, generally means uh, Kumite of three steps. Okay, and there are various different ways of doing this. We're going to do a simple backwards and forwards way, okay, and we're going to work on the attacks to start with and then the defences, okay, and then once we've got competent at doing both of those, we're then going to do it interactively, okay, so I can count you attacking me and I will block you, and then I will attack you and you will hopefully block me. Obviously, we can't, uh, um, I can't see you blocking me, so I'm going to have to trust you, I'm going to have to hope that you're good at doing this and uh, doing it correctly. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll move on to Kaishi Pon Kumite, which is the return one step Kumite, um, which again, as I said earlier, is, is one of my favorite things. Okay, so, but first of all, let's uh, make sure we uh, have enough room. Okay, so just check your surroundings, make sure you're safe and ready. Us. Hey, boy. Okay, so attacking wise, uh, three attacks. The first attack is a Jodan Oizuki to the chin. The second attack is a Chudan Oizuki to the stomach. And the third attack in this case will be a Maigeri to the stomach. So we're going to keep it really simply. But as I said before, we can do uh, any attack. So uh, we could do Mawashi Geri, uh, Kokomi Geri, Yushiri Geri. And indeed, I've done that sort of thing in the past. But we're going to keep it really simple, really basic, and focus on our form more than anything else. Um, timing is going to be complicated because you could be 15 miles away from me, so there's going to be a delay. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes, um, and, and, and I hope in this, if, if my brain works correctly, even though we're not doing this full speed, it will work well for us. Okay, so right, us. Hey, boy. Okay, and step back, get number right, each. Okay, so make sure, again, position-wise, you're um, looking at your opponent. Okay, so hopefully you can see me somewhere on your camera, on your screen and I'm going to be your opponent, okay? Now, we're going to just practice the attacks together, first of all, okay? But you can still use me as a, as a visual point. Um, I'm just using the camera lens, 
Um, so I'm looking straight down the centre of the camera, and that is that is you, in, in, in my eyes anyway. So you're all about six feet tall, that's a good thing I think for some people, uh, Sensi Wayne. Um, so we're looking towards the camera, and our first attack will be nice and strong. Oh, so if you just remember, I'm doing everything slowly this evening. Okay. Then the next attack will be a Chudan Oizuki. And I need to remember to shorten my stance, otherwise this isn't going to work. Okay, let's go back again. Let's do each technique into, uh, in, uh, to, together. Uh, sorry, separately. That's what I meant to say, separately. So, step back, get on the right. Okay, Oizuki Jodan each. And back. Again. Oizuki Jodan each. And back. And one more. Oizuki Jodan each. Okay, so, us. We now continue. Oizuki uh, Jodan, so chin height, and Oizuki Chudan, stomach height. Okay, so, just checking in your position, and I'm going to run out of room very quickly here, so I need to just do slightly shorter stances than, than I would do normally. So, first of all, looking towards your target, and clearly stating your intention. Where are you attacking? Jodan! So you look at the opponent, okay, clearly state, Jodan! Jodan makes the person come alive, okay? If you say Jodan, and drop your shoulders, there's no real uh, um, intent or emphasis on that you're going to attack. So, we bow correctly, we yoy correctly, okay? That's not doing that, so we've got to do this correctly. So we bow, yoy, and step back and right. Okay, so now you're focused, you're looking down the, at your target or looking towards your target. Remember what I said before about the stance, and feel your stance. Jordan! Looking towards where you're going to attack and then slowly attacking forwards. Each. And then continuing to the stomach punch. Knee. And then finally, you're going to kick. Put your arms to the side so don't den uh, denote that you're kicking. My Gary. Yeah! And I need to be really careful because that hurt. <laughs> okay, and back. So you need, maybe I was wrong in one and a half metres, I think you're going to need two metres, my apologies for that. Okay, so once more, I'm going to start backwards. Okay, I'm going to shorten my stances even more to see if we can fit all this in. Okay, so Jordan, each, Chudan, Anime Gary, ish, Okay, so hopefully that, uh, Makes sense. I'm sorry if my uh, feet and stance goes out of camera or I get too close to the camera. Apologies for that. And then step back. The thing about etiquette, um, particularly in Kumite, is it's really, really important. We um, are a partnership. We work in harmony with our partner. So whether you're in Kumite for your black belt uh, or in a competition or in the dojo practice in Kihon Kumite as we are this evening, you must work in harmony. Okay, you work together. So if you think of windscreen wipers, you, you work together. Okay, at the same speed, at the same power, etc. etc. To beat someone in a Kumite match, it's, it's here that wins the battle, not, not this, this physical entity. The physical entity has to work together, uh, but there is a harmony of mind okay, and body together, yours and your opponents. And you must do this together. Uh, Sensei Kanazawa was the best person I think in the world who, um, who, who made this, or made me understand this in terms of this working together and the harmony between two uh, when, when we're doing Kumite. So we can't have one person that's super Jordan and the other person going, Oops. We, we have to have that combination of two. So from my perspective, as soon as we bound, we come up a little bit like our kata, okay? We shout our intent strongly, firmly, looking at our opponents, okay, and then um, we will encourage them to be the same as us. And um, hopefully they'll come with us. And that's the thing that's really important. There's no good having a, say, a black belt and, a, and an orange belt, and then being this huge imbalance between the two. Kionipon Kumite, Sanbon Kumite, Kaishikun, the same level. They're the same people, the same level. Okay, it doesn't matter the grade. They bow together, they come up together, they step back together, they work together, if that makes sense. So, we continue, so make sure we bow, us, hey oi, 
Okay, remember attacker always stepping backwards to attack. So for the first technique, they step back because we're effectively being non-aggressive, okay, or telling our opponent that we're doing this together, okay, as a Kion basic technique rather than we're going to attack them uh, without any bow and respect, etc. That sort of thing. So step back, Gidan Brai. Okay, Jodan, Itch. And then the Chudan punch, Ni. Hey, and then the Maigori kick, Sun. Yeah. And back, Yame. So again, the attacker, Tora, uh, in Japanese, always comes backwards. Okay, and that's to note respect for your partner, okay, and show that we're being non aggressive uh, within our kumite, with this, this particular type of kumite. Um, okay, so again, step back, make sure you leave a little bit of room behind you so you're not going to kick the units as I've done previously. So, right. Uh, remember, I'm in a working kitchen stroke um, uh, um, our family home, so things move. Constantly, we had the table moved earlier. Uh, Josh was shooting a, uh, a video for his YouTube channel, which was um, really, really cool. What he's uh, trying to do at the moment, whilst he can't go out and do what he usually does. Um, so we have to move things around, don't we, in the house? Um, and you've probably done a lot of uh, feng shui, as I call it, uh, moving that, moving things around the house um, to try and make things look better. Uh, I think it's called moving clutter around, actually. Our garage is full, anyway. So Ray, us again on the attack. Step back and right. Itch. Jodan, ish, ni, san, ya, and yame. And back we go. Once more, right, yos. Hey, oi. And step back and I'm right, ich. Jodan, ich, ni. Hey, mate. Okay, so I'll do it this way. I'll do it this way, so hopefully you can see me behind and then you'll be following me. Okay, so Hachi Dachi, uh, open leg stance, and mate, us. Hey, oi. And step back, get and right. Itch. Jodan, itch. Me. Sun. Hey, I'm a. I'm a. Oops. Hey, anyway. Okay, so I hope that makes some sense. The attacks, uh, you're following the Embusen, the performance line, okay, which is that line that we never lose sight of when we're uh, working with our partners, when we're working with Kumite, when we're working with Kihon. Okay, it, the performance line is where you are going, okay, so where you are looking. That's where you're in boosting it, so you're, you're following that all of the time. Okay, so the attack is only part of it. Um, one thing I can't share this evening is, is uh, how I normally attack. I'm quite, uh, I wouldn't say the word aggressive is right, but I attack, I shout clearly where I'm going, Jordan! Nice and strong, and then I make sure that I attack with intent to all of my target areas. Okay, I, I personally think that with Kumite you attack correctly, firmly, strongly, on point. Um, uh, all the time. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. But I think um, it, it's good for your mind. It's good for your mind. It encourages your partner to work with you. And um, I think that really, really is an important part of this balance that we're trying to obtain uh, working together. So we're going to flip this on the head now and we're going to become uki. So uh, receiving, receiving. So uh, taking, taking, um, using our blocks. And uh, again, you're going to need a bit of space, so about two meters and you're going to work backwards. So again, we're gonna step forwards a little bit, okay, coming up um, from my perspective towards the camera, okay? Imagine your opponent checking their distance initially, okay, both of you already bowed, and then they're in a gidan bright position ready to attack you, okay? And then you'll be moving backwards three times, three times. Okay, so first of all, um, so we'll bow. Hey, oi. Now I'm just going to say the word Jodan, okay, so you can envisage the person who's ready to go. So Jodan, and we would say us at this point, okay, it's important. When you say us, don't bow again, okay? If you're bowing again, you're literally, you've said us, which means I'm ready for you, and they're going to attack you as you come up and you bow. So we bow beforehand. So it's important that we bow, we're then ready. 
Jordan, us. Okay, a good clear acknowledgement, looking at your opponent as they step into their Gidan right position. Okay, and then we're going to step back. Number one, Agiyuki, itch. Okay, so blocking Agiyuki. The second punch, remember, is coming here towards the stomach. So stepping back again from here, Soto Uriyuki, outside full hand block. Okay, so Soto Uriyuki. Remember, the punch is coming down here. Want it to stop it here, so blocking Soto Uriyuki. And then the final technique is a Maigeri Chudan. Maigeri Chudan coming into the stomach, okay, or even possibly the groin. We're going to go 45 degrees to our right. Okay, Gekazuki. Yeah! And then Yame. And when we yame from this position here, as the defender, as the uki, as I call them, then we, we step forwards. And we do that to maintain the balance of, uh, of distance, uh, which I think is my in Japanese. Okay? So we, we maintain our distance. Otherwise, you're always trying to get your stepping up and trying to check your distance constantly. If you work together as a unit, as I said, a bit similar to the wind and work sort of analogy, then you will find that this works an absolute treat. Um, but it takes two people to do it. So, from my perspective, the attacker, okay, so from this position here, they will attack Jodan, Chudan, and Maigo, yeah! As the defender steps forwards, the attacker steps back. Likewise, the defender, on their third technique, yeah! Okay, they step up as the attacker steps back, maintaining that distance. I'm going to have to recheck and spend half of our time in the dojo bowing to each other. We bow at the beginning and we bow at the end. And that's, that's all we need to do. Otherwise, there's constantly bowing and not doing karate. I hope that makes sense. And, and again, that's, that's my way of doing things. Not necessarily everybody's way of, of doing it. Okay, so once more. So, Sanbon Kumite. Again, I don't think there's any need to constantly repeat Sanbon Kumite and then Jodan. Uh, we know we're doing Sanbon Kumite, so we just say it once at the beginning of this uh, particular type of Kumite, and then we'll just clearly state the intention of where the first punch will go. Okay, and, and the sensei, whoever's teaching you, will tell you if you're doing uh, Sanbon Kumite and you're doing, say, for instance, different techniques as the attack. So, for instance, if they said Washi Geri, Kikomi Geri, Shiri Geri, Okay, then you would know that previously. So your first attack would be Moshigeri, and you would attack that. The second and third techniques, come on. You can do it so that you just free fall, so you don't actually tell the person where you're attacking. It's quite good fun. can be a bit dangerous, but um, black belts like doing that sort of thing. Okay, so remember, Uki, the receiver, we're going to bow. Our attacker says, Jodan. Os. Step back each. Remember those joy positions because we're still doing Kihon. Ni Soto Ryuki. And Sang Giran Barai 45 degrees. Ia! Giyakazuki. And Iyamai. Now, there are two ways of doing the third and final technique, and that is the Giran Barai 45 degrees to Giyakazuki. Okay, and that is really to avoid uh, blocking the leg directly with the arm. Um, now, I always, always teach it that way with juniors, and I think that's uh, correct, because um, uh, juniors have little bones in their arms, okay, and um, one of their legs and arms together is never a good combination, so for me that's not a good thing. I think, again, as a higher grade adult, um, black belts, etc., you can block straight back on the Gidan Barai, um, which you should be able to do comfortably uh, without fear of um, injury, um, and that's different. So there's, there's two different ways of doing this. Okay, but at the moment, I think from the majority of the people possibly practicing now, uh, we do 45 degrees. So uh, I think it makes it a little bit interesting as well. Okay, so once more, right? Oops. And you wait. Okay, so again, our attacker has already got their distance. They've got their mind. They step back, Gid and Brian, and they clearly state their intention. Jogan. And we're looking at them. We're saying, us. Itch. Ni San Ia and back and ready. Okay, I need to stop doing Kime because uh, <laughs> that's excruciating. So um, I, I need to stop doing that. So I'm just going to relax it down a little bit more. I need to keep telling myself that. If you could prompt me on screen to just relax and so and don't hurt your back any further. Uh, that would be super helpful. Um, so, 
I hope this makes sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to do it um, one more practice as if we're attacker, Torah, and then as if we're receiving Uki, okay? And then we will do it as if you are going to attack me and I'm going to attack you. And then we move on to Kaishi Ponkimite in a second as well. Okay, so attacking first of all, Torah. Okay, so right, us, ensure you have room. Okay, that takes a little bit of practice working how much room you have in the living room or kitchen or bedroom, etc. So um, just get, get used to where your room is. Step back, get number right. Jordan. Itch. Ni. Sam. Ea. And yami. Okay, so now you're receiving, so now you're uki. Jordan. Us. Itch. Ni. Sam. Ea. I'm being very mindful that I don't go into the dog bowl, uh, which is just by this plant that you can see, uh, sorry, just over here. Um, <laughs> dog bowl's right next to that, she won't be very happy if I go in there, especially with my feet. So, um, we're going to uh, now do this together, okay? I hope this will work as interactively in my mind as I think it will do, okay? Obviously, I'm not going to be able to attack you as I would normally because um, I'm in too much pain, and um, uh, so it's good for you. I'm going to go nice and slow. Um, hopefully, that will be fine for you. So I'm going to be attacker first of all, so I'll be Torah, you will be receiving, okay, so you will be uh, taking on the techniques, etc, so you're blocking Uki. Okay, so let's have a go at this. Oops. Jordan! Now I'm hoping that you blocked me, because that was painful. <laughs> and now your turn, and now your turn. Okay, so I will step um, back, being the attacker, into my joy position, so I'm ready for you. Okay, you now step back as the aggressor, so the attacker, so Torah, you step back into Gidan Barai, and you shout at me now as loud as you can, Jogan! Us! We should hopefully now be back to the beginning. I hope that makes sense. Okay, one thing to just uh, note when we um, are bound in Kumite in terms of Kihon, uh, Kihonipon, Kaishipon Kumite, um, Sanbon Kumite, Gohon Kumite, it, it doesn't matter. When, when we bow to each other, we, we have to bow face on. Oh, I'm trying to get this the correct way. So we have to be face on. Okay? We, we don't have to be staggered. So, if we're here, and this is our embusen, okay, so my partner is you, looking straight into the camera lens as I am, okay, if I move my right foot in, and that person moves their right foot in, okay, we are going to miss each other, and bow to somebody who's not there. So we must make sure that we are actually together. But obviously if we were, say, less than a metre apart, and we bowed, we would smash heads, potentially. So we don't want to do that, so we need to make sure that there is a... Um, I, I think around a metre and a half gap between the two people. So when we initially bow, we both yoy, we both bow, we both come up. Okay, this person then walks up one pace to gain, hang, uh, main, sorry, gain their distance, their my. Okay, and that is the uh, Torah. Torah then steps back, Gidan Barai, and says Jodan, and then we'll attack one, attack two, attack three. This person steps back, this person moves up. The, my, the distance is the same. This person steps back. Jodan one, Jodan two, my Gary three. This person steps back, this person steps up. The my, the my stays the same. The distance is the same. Okay, no need to rebattle. No need to change that. When we finish, both people are doing it, we separate and we bow safely. Again, the different dojos do this in different ways. I was certainly taught a different way for, for many, many years. But for my mind, when you bow to someone, they have to be in front of you, okay? There is, there is no point if you're my target there and I'm bowing here and you're going that way and we're missing each other, we're not bowing to each other. So uh, actually, if you go to Japan, you'll understand what I mean. 
Okay, and uh, I've been a few times, so you need to you need to understand that that's the correct way to do this. Is bowing face on. Um, this this is this is utter rubbish. Looking at somebody whilst you're bowing is disrespectful and poor form and not part of Shotokan Karate at all. So please please don't ever do that. I'm, I know none of my students ever would because I've taught you differently. Okay, right. So once more, uh, I'd be the attacker. Okay, uh, predominantly stuck. We're just doing the right side at the moment this evening, um, and, and that's mainly because. Um, just for simplicity's sake, we'll do this again on Thursday, but uh, we'll maybe upgrade it a little bit, doing right and left side, and depending on how my back is, we'll see how much faster we can go. Okay, so right, us, hey, oi, and step back, get them right, each. So I'm attacking, you're blocking, okay, so I'm gonna clearly state my intention, Joram! And I'm gonna attack slowly, so ish. Okay, then you are going to step up as I step back, so we maintain our distance. You can check your distance if you wish to do so, if you need to. There might be an imbalance in between height here, okay, that doesn't always make a difference, remember. Uh, we attack long and short, I'll show you that in a moment. Okay, so you take up your position, okay, your Kamai, and then you will shout, Jodan, Os. Together, you step back and I step up. We maintain the position, maintain our mind. Okay, Sensei says that's not good enough, so we go again. We don't need to rebound, we don't need to recheck. We're already in our positions, we're still working together in harmony. So, first side step back, Amber I, Joel Dan, and Yamae together. One steps back, defender, the attacker steps up, maintaining that distance. Attacker then steps back, get and Rai, ready to start their position, so they're in Kamai. Okay, Jodan, Os. Take your pace away from your partner, and ready. And again, I, th I think it's really important to make sure you do a proper, proper ray, a proper bow. Okay, again, I think it's uh, disrespectful to just nod at people. Um, uh, I think it's really disrespectful. Uh, great is immaterial, uh, we bow to each other from a, from a mutual respect perspective. So that is San Bon Kumite, one version of it, and okay, and I will make that caveat. There is there are multiple versions. San Bon could be just with three people. So another way I like to do this is attacking from the sides. Okay, I really enjoy doing that, and then also I like attacking from 45 degrees. Uh, one of my um, uh, friends uh, showed me that years ago, and um, I really, really enjoy that, doing that triangle uh, form of kumite. So you get attack on the left side, attack on the right side, and then you change. So there's different ways of doing it, okay? You can have one person in front and one person behind. I like to do that, where we rotate. So Sanborn kumite can be multiple different ways, but effectively means three. So I hope you uh, understand that. Okay, so moving on then to uh, the second part of tonight's lesson, and that is Kaishi Ippon Kumite. So Kaishi means return or receiving. Okay, Ippon uh, we know means one, and Kumite we know means uh, sparring, fighting, etc. So this is more interactive. It's kind of another stage, another step up. Okay, so we tend to start in Kumite at Gohon Kumite, then we move to Sanbon Kumite, and then we move to, say, Kion Ippon Kumite, and then we move to Kaishi Ippon Kumite, then Ju Ippon Kumite, or Kuri Ju Ippon Kumite, and finally Ju Kumite. So there's a, there's a staggered ladder, okay, learning the different things. If you think of uh, Hien Shodan, Nidan, Sandan, Yondan, Godan, five step ladder for the Hien Kata, uh, this is a similar sort of path with, uh, with Kumite. Uh, so Kaishi, uh, return one step. What that actually means, okay, is that the attacker, Tora, attacks initially, but then receives. So you become both parts, and I think that's why I certainly like this, and it's one of my favourite parts of Kumite. So you become Tora, and then all of a sudden you're the Uki, okay, because you are going to receive it pretty much immediately, another technique. Now again, back in the old days when, when I was younger, we used to have a ridiculous amount of fun doing this as black belts and basically just tried it. It was about kind of having a little bit of fun. Um, 
we're doing it at a very simple level so that people get it right and get their form correct, their technique correct. Okay, and again, this harmony of, of working together. So I think it's really, really important to uh, work on your Kaishi Ponkimite with your partner. Okay, um, and always think of having a partner in your mind and don't think of trying to beat them um, or better them. Okay, the only person you should ever try to better is yourself and that's trying to improve your own personal technique. So Kaishi Ponkimite is still very much this balance of working together. So let me explain how this will work. So we need less, less space for this, this is quite nice, so we can do this within our normal meter square. So if we just bow first of all, okay, and I'll have a go at explaining it to you um, uh, on camera, this will be interesting without a partner. Okay, so I am Tora initially, okay, so I've gained my distance, I've stepped back from my partner, and I'm stating my intention, Jodan. So I will attack strongly towards the person's chin, and they will block Agi Uki. Jodan! Now they are not going to stop there, as soon as they've blocked me, they are then going to return that favour with an oizuki to my stomach. They don't say anything, they just come and attack. So I step back, block, and counter punch. They step back, and I step up, we maintain our mind and our distance. If it's the other way round, then the other person will step back, Ginambrai, and they will shout, Jodan, and I will shout, Us, and I will block, Ich. And then I will come back with Oizuki. Yeah! They will block Soto Uriuki, outside forearm block, and Gyakazuki. I step back, they step up, we maintain our mai. So both people play a part. So if you think of your attacker, okay, Jodan, attack, Chudan comes back, counter punch back, and then, and then Black Sobus. So this person, uh, first of all, we bow, walk up, step. Uh, back, get and right, attack Jodan. Person comes back, Chudan. Step back, step up. My, my uh, distance uh, maintained. I hope, I hope that makes sense. Some, some of you have never done this before, so I do appreciate that. I, I tend to do it a lot with the uh, adult classes and higher grade juniors, um, but, but uh, uh, less so um, with, the, with the younger, younger students. But it's really, really, really good fun. So we do it together, okay, and work on it just nice and slowly to get our form, get our technique correct, um, and uh, then we can um, we can change this. We can change this again. There's, there's so many variations of this. Um, I've done this with a Moshi Gary, Moshi Gary, which is really, really good fun. Uh, I couldn't possibly do a Moshi Gary at the moment because uh, my back won't let me do it. It's bad enough kicking my Gary, if I'm honest. So. Um, we can adapt this and, and uh, develop it as, as we go on. Okay, so, once more, great. So, uh, I will again initially play the part of Tora, so I step back in and right. I've already checked my distance. Jogan, attack, and then back. Sotoruki, yeah! Giyakuzuki. Okay, and, and, and keeping that form. Then this time I'm receiving, so the person will say, Jogan, us. Again, I'll become the attacker. Jogan. And this time I'll become the blocker. Jogan. Us. Okay, so um, the point that I think is really crucial within all Kumite, and sometimes a little bit get less, gets lost and forgotten in dojos, um, is the, is the uh, importance of the ki. Okay, for me, uh, without ki in one Kumite, so whether you're a Tora attacking Jodan, yeah, okay, or you're blocking counter punch, yeah. Without either of those, without the attacker Kiyoi and without the defender Kiyoi, okay, then, then there's Torimasa, no score, no point, no, no point at all. Um, it's, it's like doing Kumite with your heart removed, it's absolute pointless. Uh, Shotokan Karate uh, is very passionate, it's a very uh, important um, style of uh, martial arts, okay, and that's what uh, kind of um, I think drew me towards it. 
was the mutual respect. I, I like the Japanese martial arts, there are many others, Korean, etc., in different parts of the world, um, uh, different martial arts, but I was drawn towards Shotokan. Um, I like the historical element of it, I like the respect part of it, but most of all, I like the heart. I like the bit that allowed me to be, um, to, to be somebody I wasn't. Somebody I wasn't. Okay, so when I started karate, I was not the person I am today. Um, so, so for me, it's really important to put your heart into your karate. Um, hence the bad fact. Okay, you, you, you kind of have to push yourself all the time. Uh, technically, I've never felt that I'm super gifted at all. Uh, I could fight, I can be pretty good at that. But I um, would never consider myself to be a technically gifted, gifted uh, karateka. What I would say is that I'm a karateka whose spirit uh, is always over 100%. Um, and, and for me, that's the most important part of, of karate. So we don't have a key eye, we don't, we're not showing our spirit, we're not showing our partner, we're not showing the dojo, um, the effort, the soul, the, the meaning between everything that we do. I hope that makes, makes some sense to people. Um, it's something I'm quite passionate about. So uh, um, if we ever get to do this together, okay, then you'll notice that the way that I do it is a particular way. Uh, but that's built through confidence, that's, that's built through years of training. I was never like that when I was a white belt. So it just takes some time. But we have to try to release the inner warrior, as I call it, the inner, the inner, the inner person that we don't see on a daily basis. Okay, so again, I will attack uh, Tora. So, right, we'll bow to each other. Okay, so I'd like you now to do this with me, okay? So I'm going to attack, first of all, and then you're going to counter-attack uh, with your Chudan. Now, it's not a game. Okay, so I attack Jodan, you block, you come back and attack Chudan. Okay, it's not a case of me attacking Jodan and then you thinking, oh, I'm going to wait a second here and see if he wobbles and see if he gets un uh, uneasy. Um, no, no, let's do this together. So we attack, we attack, we attack, we attack. Okay, this builds up form, this builds up technique, this builds up our um, uh, waza. Okay, so technique. So it's really important to do that first. Once we get confident, higher grade, then we can start to have a little bit of fun, uh, as I call it. But it's important to get those uh, together, together, working as a partnership, okay? Remember, target is important. Jodan is here, Chudan is here, okay? Not here, not here, not here, not anywhere else. It's here. Your partner, if you attack true and straight to their chin, they will move. They will move out of the way. Very rarely do we have any incidents in the dojo because people generally want to be there, they listen, okay, and that's the important thing. But if you step back after bowing, and, and they have no idea what you just said, and they acknowledge it with an us because they're a bit uneasy, then that can be dangerous. So it's really important to pay each other that mutual respect, bow correctly, yoi correctly, and step back. Jodan! Clear. Intent is there. Attack. Ish. And you attack that. E. Okay, I hope that makes some sense. So again, I will attack again. Jodan! Ish. This time I will receive. Jodan. Us. And once more. Jodan. Us. Looks like the uh, broadcast might be interrupted. Um, I'm hoping you'll still get this. Our uh, internet has been uh, pretty awful for the last uh, um, last few days, actually. Uh, in fact, we went completely wrong uh, the other day. Um, so I'm hoping you've still got that. Um, I'm now saying I'm back online, so that's a good thing. So apologies if you do get the odd glitch. Uh, where we live in Clifton, um, uh, our, our broadband provider is not, not the best at the moment. I think there's been complaints nationally about them as well. So, uh, um, right, so, so again, we continue, okay? Kaishi Ippon Kumite, so right, us. Okay, so attacking then nice and strong. You are going to attack me this time to start with, 
Okay, so step back, uh, make sure you've, uh, so we'll do this correctly actually, let's start again. So, let's bow to each other. And you're all together. Take up your command, your position. Okay, you've already checked your distance, okay, and you are now clearly stating your attention. You're shouting, Joran, and I'm shouting, Us! And Itch! So I step back, you step up. I really hope that you're attacking the QIs as much. Um, it'd be good if I could hear a few, uh, although we're probably about 10 miles apart from the nearest person. But hey, there, there you go. So again, once more, you are going to uh, step back, get on right. I need to bow again. We're already in position. Okay, clearly state your intention. Jo down. And us. Itch. And back. And ready to each other. Us. Okay, just going to stop there because uh, I've, um, I'm aggravating my back. So let's just stretch a little bit. Um, and even if you don't want to stretch, I've got to. It's important when you're stretching to try to relax, but my, my left side of my back doesn't want to know anything about that. Um, Aggravating and annoying, but then it's my own fault because I put it upon myself by, by, by pushing myself too hard yesterday. Um, so we um, are going to uh, do Kai Shikon again, but this time we're going to mix it up, have a little bit of a, a variation. So this time we're going to make sure we attack Chudan and the return will be Jodan. Okay, so um, if you think of the blocks, then we'll switch them around. Okay, I'll show you what I mean because it may not make sense. So if I am Tora this time, okay, I would step back and then rise per normal. And this time I'm going to say Chudan. And I attack Chudan strongly. And step back and I block Agiyuki. Gekazuki. Okay, so slight variations. That's a nice little twist on this, uh, which I like to do. Um, so uh, the attacker this time attacks Chudan, so therefore the receiver, okay, the Yuki then who becomes Tora, attacks Jodan. Okay, so it just changes them around, changes the levels around. So initially we were going Jodan and coming back Chudan. Now we're going Chudan and coming back Jodan. So it gives it a nice little, a little nice uh, twist. Okay, so also again, mate. Step back, Gidan Barai. Itch. Chudan. Itch. Ni. Yeah. Hey, and back. And once more. Chudan, itch! Eya! Okay, now your turn, okay, so your turn will be punching into Chudan. So you are now coming into my stomach. So, again, step back, Gidan Barai, and shout your intention. Chudan! Os! Hopefully you've blocked that and counter-punched. Okay, so once more, state your intention, step back, get on where I can I. Okay, and shout clearly, Chudan! Os! And take a face away from each other, and Ray. Os! Okay. Uh, can you give me a thumbs up if you understand what we've just done with San Juan Kumite and with Kaishi Ippon Kumite? Um, if you're training together with a family member or partner, then, then you can practice this um, throughout the next couple of days. So you can do it again with me on Thursday. Thursday, um, hopefully we're probably going to try and do something similar for around 45 minutes, but a little bit more bang bang. But we'll see how, uh, how my back is, if I'm perfectly honest. Um, uh, I've, got, I've got to keep stretching it. I've got all my exercises to do. I can't see my osteopath uh, who cured me, I would say, of it on when I last did it, which was not that long ago. Um, it was November that I put my back out previously. Um, I think um, lumping fence panels around at the beginning of the week and then doing the kata was ridiculous. Right, thumbs up from a lot of people. That's really good. That makes me feel good. That makes me happy as well that you, um, you, you understand. 
I love the fact when your little faces pop up in my screen. Um, it's very, very cool. Uh, <laughs> it's quite funny as well. Um, so I hope you um, are enjoying this in particular, uh, Sanbon and Kaishi Upon Kumite. As I say, Sanbon is a prelude, uh, really, to, to Kaishi Upon. Kaishi Upon is, is kind of another level beyond, beyond this. So we start at Gohon, five step, three step, one step, return one step. Then there's Ju Upon Kumite, or Kyuri Ju Upon Kumite, and Inju Kumite. So there's another three after this, um, uh, in terms of types of Kumite. There are all sorts of types of Kumite. Um, but um, these are the ones you would have heard of in the dojos most of the time. Um, so remember, this is part of Kihon, though. So this is very much about form, basic technique, and basic respect and rules of dojo etiquette, which is a really part, part of what we do. Um, and, and, and this helps, I think, for, for most karate, it builds confidence up. I think one of the worst things coming into the dojo and, and what stops the majority of people coming in to the doors is the fear of getting hit. Okay, Karate, there is hitting, there is going to be contact, Okay, particularly at um, uh, adult level and higher grade level. But it, but it can be kept as a minimum if we learn to do things correctly. Okay, We learn how to block correctly, for instance. Um, but but there, it's a contact sport at the end of the day. But it's really important that when we're teaching children, okay, and uh, a good majority of our dojo members are children, is that we learn and teach them control. And, and karate is nothing without control. If we don't have that, um, then, then we're not, we're not practicing safely and we're not karateka. Karateka are people who have uh, good control uh, here, okay, and here together, okay, and they're able to pull techniques should they need to, okay, and um, uh, stop their opponent getting hurt. Um, I think I've said to my dojos many times, I, I've been hurt pretty horrifically, actually. Ended up in hospital a number of occasions through other people's lack of control. Okay, now that was in Kumite competitions, and um, it was very much down to a poor execution of a technique, okay, or a deliberately dangerous technique, as the case was uh, on a number of occasions where I ended up in hospital. Um, those people don't have a place in karate, they're, they're not karate -ka. Uh, and I would say that people that have done that sort of thing don't do it for very long. Because um, it's not acceptable, it's not correct, and it's not clever, and it's not strong, and it's not powerful. It's, it's absolutely uh, ridiculously idiotic. So we must make sure that we don't have to uh, go into the dojo fearful of, of something terrible happening to us. Accidents happen, but they should be few and far between. And I can put my hand on my heart and say that my dojo has had very, very few uh, incidents. Since I've been running my own dojos from 1995, we have had nobody, nobody go to hospital apart from one, I think, one occasion. And that was an accident, okay? No deliberate um, uh, errors there, but uh, just one accident. So I think it's quite incredible to have that sort of, um, uh, you know, um, uh, you know, that situation in, in a dojo. That means we're safe, we're practicing safely. We still practice correctly. Okay, and I think that's uh, an important thing to note. Okay, so right, so one more recap over both of those, so Sanbon Kumite and uh, Kaoshi Pon Kumite, and then we will continue this on Thursday. Hopefully, my back will have eased a little bit. We can ramp speed up a little bit. So we'll go back to the beginning of the lesson. So right, just a very quick recap before we finish this evening. Okay, so uh, make sure, again, we have our correct forms distance. Okay, we've checked our mind with our partner. Okay, we step back, get our eye. Sanbon Kumite. So we're going to do the three step version first of all. So again, we'll look at our target. Jodan. Yeah! 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 And then we're defending. Jodan. Os. Yeah! 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 And back together. Okay, so that's both sides of that. And then Kaishi upon Kumite, Kaishi upon Kumite, return one step sparring. So we're going to attack first of all, or I will attack you to start with. Okay, so again, we're ready. Yoi, I step back, get on right. Kaishi upon Kumite then, so this is the return one step. Jodan, itch. Eya. And then your turn, Jodan. Itch! Eya! And Yamani. Take a 
your pace away from your partner. I hope, uh, I hope that um, is, uh, is making sense to you and you're able to practice that on your own. You, you don't need a partner for this, I think, initially. I think, in fact, any Kumite, if you can do it on your own with an imaginary opponent, um, then I think that's a really good thing. Uh, my sensei always told me to uh, choose when I was doing imaginary opponent, choose to choose somebody I didn't like. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I couldn't ever think of anybody. Um, so I even just make up the analogy, I was attacking a great big six foot tall uh, bunch of broccoli, because I'm not a fan of broccoli at all. Okay, and what, he's meant, what, he was, what he was going on about was more about the aggressive spirit that I needed, but controlled. Okay, so again, looking at my opponent, okay, facing them off, and making sure that I was attacking true, uh, with true form, true vigorous application and technique. Um, so we, so we, we can practice this sort of stuff uh, on, on our own, um, within our own dojos, etc. Okay, so hopefully coming up um, in the next few days, I'm going to put some, um, my editing skills are not really as good as my son's, he's the king of editing, but he's busy doing his own stuff. So I'm going to try to put a couple of videos I shot up of um, uh, possibly here and showdown initially onto our YouTube channel. Okay, so it's still the same um, Asahi Shotokan Karate. Okay, if you subscribe to that, you can you can go on there, and I will put those on there. I'll put a link on the Facebook page, so you're able to just click on that, take you straight to YouTube, um, and then hopefully you'll be able to watch those. Um, I won't show you the video of when I put my back out because there are expletives there, and um, <laughs> I'm in a lot of pain, if I'm perfectly honest, and I am right now. But uh, I can take some ibuprofen in a second and have a cup of tea. A cup of tea sorts everything out in my head. Um, so. Uh, Anyway, that's the idea, is to get some catas up on at least our YouTube channel, so you at least how to, uh, to visualise them. And, and what I've tried to do so far with the first three that I was able to complete yesterday um, was, uh, was me facing the camera as you would probably see the kata normally, and then to return and do it the opposite way. Now, we found out as a family, because obviously I've taught my son and my wife, uh, Debbie, um, to do karate, um, is that... Actually, the best angle for learning kata is over somebody's shoulder. So, ideally, using a drone um, or, a, or a tall person. We've got one in our dojo, so we might use Jonathan. But looking over the shoulder of the person and then following them actually is probably the best way to learn. Um, most of us older uh, students of karate will have gone through books. So, uh, I've still I've got gone through all my books. And then Friday, when we do our um, uh, questions and answers or Q and A sessions, they call it nowadays. Um, I'll show you some of my books. I've got some very old books where I, where I try to learn. Trying to learn kata from a book is really difficult because you have to reverse everything. The best way I found out of doing it in the end was to go in my mum's um, living room and uh, look at it in a mirror. And then I could follow the moves. But that's difficult doing a kata holding a book, looking in a mirror. So you can appreciate the best place and the only real place to learn kata is not on YouTube, it's in the dojo. It's in the dojo with the sensei and uh, they teach you best. They teach you the right way, the correct way, um, that they want you to do it, and, and, and that's really, really important. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the, this evening's lesson. I'm going to stop there um, before I completely collapse, um, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll see you on Thursday. Um, I did think about cancelling the lessons this week, I'm not gonna lie, uh, but uh, I'm glad I haven't. I'm glad I've struggled through, and it's worth every second of it if you're uh, also enjoying the sessions. So, I'm going to finish there and do the dojo kun, and then we'll yame and uh, leave, it, leave the dojo. Oss. Dojo kun. Hitots jin kanku kansei ni suramoto koto. Hitots makato no michi o mumuro koto. Hitots doryoko no seishin a yashina o koto. Hitots aregyo o monjiro koto. Hitots Keki no yu imashimuru koto. Emre, os. Os. If the, I know the, the microphone on the, my iPhone is particularly good. If you can hear anything licking, you can obviously see it's not me. It is the dog, literally just two feet to my right and my feet. Okay, it is definitely not me making that sound. And she's licking her paw, so we're okay there. Os, uh, thank you very much for joining me as always. Um, and I uh, hope to see you on uh, Thursday. Us, us, us. Take care. Come on, my. Jamatane, see you soon. And uh, look after yourself. Stay safe, please. Us, us.